Well, good morning and welcome back to another episode of Matins in the Morning. It is Thursday, September 19th. That's Thursday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. My name is Nathan. I'm joined by Wayne. We're coming to you from the St. Thomas More House of Prayer. We are a Catholic retreat center in Cranberry, Pennsylvania, and it is our mission to pray and promote the Liturgy of the Hours. You can find out more about us over at our website at liturgyofthehours.org. We are currently in Volume 4 of the Liturgy of the Hours 4 volume set. <clears throat> We're opening hymn. Our antiphons and psalms will come from the current day of the Psalter, beginning on 1174. And our readings, responsories, and concluding prayer are in the proper of seasons, beginning on page 269. You can find these page numbers, along with our prayers that we pray before and after matins, in the description below the video as well. So we'll begin, as we always do, with our prayer of <clears throat> preparation before the Divine Office. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open, Friend, O Lord, Lord, my, my mouth, mouth, to bless your holy name. name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding, and kindle my affections, that I may worthily, attentively, and devoutly say this office, and so deserve to be heard before the presence of your divine majesty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, in union, union with, with that, that divine intention with which you praise God while you are on earth, I offer to you this hour. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <laughs> is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Beneath the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame, from everlasting you are God, to endless years the same. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be now our guide while life shall last, and our eternal home. Their own strength could not save them, it was your strength and the light of your face. We heard with our own ears, O God, our fathers have told us the story of the things you did in their days, you yourself in days long ago. To plant them you uprooted the nations, to let them spread you laid peoples low. No sword of their own won the land, no arm of their own brought them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. It is you, my King, my God, who granted victories to Jacob. Through you we beat down our foes. In your name we trampled our aggressors. For it was not in my bow that I trusted, nor yet was I saved by my sword. It was you who saved us from our foes. It was you who put our foes to shame. All day long our boast was in God, and we praised your name without ceasing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Their own <coughs> strength could not save them. It was your strength and the light of your face. <coughs> Turn back, back to, to the, the Lord. He will not hide his face. Yet now you have rejected us and disgraced us. You no longer go forth with our armies. You make us retreat from the foe, and our enemies plunder us at will. You make us like sheep for the slaughter, and scatter us among the nations. 
you sell your own people for nothing and make no profit by the sale. You make us the taunt of our neighbors, the laughing stock of all who are near. Among the nations you make us a byword, among the peoples a thing of derision. All day long my disgrace is before me, my face is covered with shame. At the voice of the taunter, the scoffer, at the sight of the foe and avenger. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn back, back to the Lord, Lord. He, he will, will not hide his face. Arise, Lord, do, do not, not abandon, abandon us forever. <clears throat> this befell us, though we had not forgotten you, though we had not been false to your covenant, though we had not withdrawn our hearts, though our feet had not strayed from your path. Yet you have crushed us in a place of sorrows and covered us with the shadow of death. Had we forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to another God, would not God have found this out? He who knows the secrets of the heart. It is for you we face death all day long and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why do you sleep? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our oppression and misery? For we are brought down low to the dust. Our body lies prostrate on the earth. Stand up and come to our help. Redeem us because of your love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <clears throat> is now, and will be forever. Amen. Arise, Lord, do, do not, not abandon, abandon us forever. Let the light of your face shine <clears throat> on me, O Lord. Teach me your way of holiness. From the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Now, son of man, during the day, while they are looking on, prepare your baggage as though for exile, and again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place. Perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime while they are looking on. In the evening, again, while they are looking on, you shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and set out into the darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land for I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. <clears throat> I did as I was told. During the day I brought out my baggage as though it were that of an exile. And at evening I dug a hole through the wall with my hand, and while they looked on, set out in the darkness, sh shouldering my burden. <clears throat> then in the morning the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, did not the house of Israel, that rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell them, thus says the Lord God, This oracle concerns Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel within it. I am a sign for you, as I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall surely shall shoulder his burden and set out in darkness, going through a hole that he has dug in the wall, and covering his face lest he be seen by anyone. But I will spread my net over him, and he shall be taken in my snare. I will bring him to Babylon into the land of the Chaldeans, but he shall not see it, and there he shall die. All his retinue and his aides and his troops I will scatter in every direction and pursue them with the sword. Then shall they know that I am the Lord when I disperse them among the nations and scatter them over the foreign lands. 
yet I will leave a few of them to escape the sword, famine, and pestilence, so that they may tell of all their abominations among the nations to which they will come. Thus they shall know that I am the Lord. When I disperse them among the nations and scatter them over many lands, then they shall oh. know that <clears throat> I am the Lord. <clears throat> <clears throat> if they abandon my law and refuse to obey my ordinances, I will punish their crimes with the rod. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. <clears throat> From a Sermon on Pastors by St. Augustine After the Lord had shown what wicked shepherds esteem, he also spoke about what they neglect. <clears throat> the defects of the sheep are widespread. They are very few, there are very few healthy and sound sheep, few that are solidly <clears throat> sustained by the food of truth, and few that enjoy the good pasture God gives them. But the wicked shepherds do not spare such sheep, it is not enough that they neglect those who are ill and weak, those that go astray and are lost. <clears throat> they even try, so far as it is in their power, to kill the strong and healthy. Yet such sheep live. Yes, by God's mercy they live. As for the wicked shepherds themselves, <clears throat> they kill the sheep. How do they kill them, you ask? By their wicked lives and by giving bad example. Or was God's servant, who was high among the members of the chief shepherd, told this in vain? Show yourself as an example of good works toward all men, and be an example to the faithful. Even the strong sheep, if he turns his eyes from the Lord's laws and looks at the man set over him, notices when his shepherd is living wickedly and begins to say in his heart, If my pastor lives like that, why should I not live like him? The wicked shepherd kills the strong sheep. But if he kills the strong one, what does he do to the rest? After all, by his wicked life, he kills even the sheep he had not strengthened, but had found strong and hardy. I appeal to your love, and again I say, even if the sheep have life, and if they are strong in the word of the Lord, and if they hold fast to what they have heard from their Lord, do what they say, but not what they do. Still, as far as he himself is concerned, the shepherd who lives a wicked life before the people kills the sheep under his care. Let such a shepherd not deceive himself, because the sheep is not dead. For though it still lives, he is a murderer. Just as when the lustful man looks on a woman with desire, even though she is chaste, <clears throat> he has committed adultery. For the Lord said in plain truth, whoever has looked upon a woman with desire has already committed adultery with her in his heart. He has not entered her bedroom, yet he has ravished her within the bedroom of his heart. Therefore, anyone who lives wickedly before those who have been placed under his care kills, as far as he himself is concerned, even the strong. Whoever imitates him dies. Whoever does not has life. But as for him, he kills both of them. You kill what is healthy, and you do not pasture my sheep. If much has been given to you, much will be demanded of you. More will be expected of one to whom more has been entrusted. The most severe judgment <clears throat> will be set aside for those in high places. More will be expected of one to whom more has been entrusted. Let us pray. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Creator, Creator and Guide, guide may, may we serve, serve you with all our heart and know and your forgiveness in our lives. lives. We, we ask, ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. We'll now conclude <clears throat> with our prayer that we pray following the divine office. To the, to most, the most holy and undivided Trinity, Trinity to, to the, the humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, to the fruitful virginity of the most blessed and glorious Mary, ever virgin, and to the whole company of the saints, be everlasting praise, honor, and glory by all creatures, and to us remission of all our sins, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father, 
and blessed be the breast which nourished Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.